हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर विशाल फ्रॉम महाराजा अगर सैन यूनिवर्सिटी बदी हिमाचल प्रदेश टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल फॉरेन कैपिटल फ्लोज अंडर द पेपर इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस ऑपरेशंस स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग एंड कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फॉरन कैपिटल फ्लोज understand the importance of foreign capital flows know about the factors affecting foreign capital flows understand about the problems in foreign capital flows and know about various instruments for raising foreign capital students over recent decades there has been a steady increase in cross border financial flows around the world with the rapidly changing world economy every country around the globe is trying to integrate its economy with the rest of the world leading to a higher standard of living in other words competition gains in productivity lower trade barriers and lower cost of external financing on a worldwide basis are the key factors that have led to the growth in world trade and rising standards of living a key feature of global financial integration during the past 3 decades is the shift in the composition of capital flows to developing and emerging market economies foreign capital flows have been playing a key role in promoting international business and cooperation among different countries almost every developed country of the world in its initial stage of development had made use of foreign capital to make the deficiency of its domestic savings in the 17th and 18th century England borrowed from Holland and in the 19th and 20th century England gave loans to many countries US the richest country of the world had borrowed heavily in the 19th century and now it has become the biggest lender country of the world US provides facilities for financing foreign trade transactions of different countries and creates the environment for lending and borrowing internationally the capital transactions take place through global integration of financial instruments and capital flows between different countries the financial market in the us is one of the most powerful international financial markets it has many innovative instruments which attracts the finance from global players the euro market is a major global market the japanese market has also many funding instruments of which samurai bonds are the most popular foreign yen bond similarly german market and swiss financial market are also an important financial markets of the world the borrowers in this market are banks corporate organization government and other countries the swiss market is attractive because it has political stability and a very high rate of savings the australian market is known for offshore bond their yankee kangaroo bonds are well known in the international markets especially in the american asian and euro market the london money market is the most significant financial market for pound sterling thus foreign capital flows have been significant in promoting integration of financial markets meaning of foreign capital foreign capital refers to the investment of capital by foreign government 
institution, private individuals, international organization in a country. Foreign capital includes foreign aid, commercial borrowings, and foreign investment. Foreign aid includes foreign grants, concessional loans, etc. Foreign capital is invested in the form of foreign currency, foreign machines, and foreign technical know how. Foreign capital has many forms like foreign collaborations, loan in the form of foreign currency, and investments in equity capital, etc. The government from time to time frame new policies for attracting foreign capital. It is used as a tool for promoting economic development and to make the balance of payment favorable. India's domestic financial market comprises the money market, the credit market, the government security market, the equity market, the corporate debt market and the foreign exchange market. Importance of foreign capital. Foreign capital has many benefits. Primarily, it integrates different countries together. There is an advantage for both developed and developing countries in assisting each other. The developed countries transfer their resources to develop the resources of the developing countries. In return for their services, the developed countries earn a rate of interest on the services and the capital provided by them. Some of the advantages of developing foreign capital in a country are as follows. Integration Foreign capital helps to internationalize a country from closed economy to an open one. When a country has surplus funds to invest, there is an outflow of capital from the country and an inflow into another country which has positive for funds. Technology Movement of capital creates a network whereby production can be carried out at the country where labor is cheap and technology is backward. Transfer of technology from technologically superior country to at less developed country upgrades the facilities and technologies of the developing country. Penetration of products Foreign capital is able to bring about competition and increase in products by offering choices to the population. New products will create new markets and more business for different countries. Capital will flow from one country to another wherever it is desired. Utilization of productive capacity When demand for a product is accelerated internationally, the productive capacity of production units is fully utilized. This will bring about higher profits and will upgrade technologically sound products. Risk sharing When two countries decide to do business together, there would be sharing of risk in capital financing. This reduces the risk for both the countries. Competition A protected market without any competition is unable to grow because of restrictions. In India, government followed TA restrictive policy with the state playing the main role in development. There were many barriers in trade due to restrictions and regulations. 
the non competitive attitude became a restraining factor in india's development in 1991 it had to liberalize its economic policies to let the market forces operate competition through demand and supply conditions opened up the market and encouraged growth in business and development in industries economic growth the contribution of foreign investments encourages economic growth in a country through development of skills technology communication and computer networks it also brings about employment the saving and investment process is accelerated with the higher business and greater production factors affecting international capital flows there are many factors which affect international movement of capital from one country to another some of them are given as follows rate of interest the rate of interest attracts the inflow of capital it moves from countries which give a low rate of interest to countries which provide a higher rate of interest on capital flows profit profit motivates foreign capital movement it moves to countries where it expects to earn a good rate of return on its investments the return follows capital investments with a gestation period therefore attractive returns will create an interest for inflows of capital production costs advanced countries look for opportunities to network with developing countries if the cost of production is low in that country the cost of labor and raw materials is a decision making factor for a country to make its investments a low cost in production means that the earnings will be high and there will be profitability government policies the policies relating to inflow of capital encourage or discourage foreign countries to take a decision to invest in a country if a flexible government policy which is interested in two way flows is a good precondition for creating a supportive environment for movement of capital a controlled government with strict policies and closed door interest cannot encourage other countries to bring in capital to its country the government policies towards tariffs foreign exchange control taxation and foreign collaboration should be carefully prepared if a country is keen on international trade political factors a country which has political stability can influence capital movements political stability creates an environment of freedom of occupation security of life and reasonable opportunity for making profits this brings about an interest from foreign countries in making investments infrastructural facilities the facilities provided with respect to movement of goods and human resources as well as an integrated banking and financial system helps to globalize and integrate global trade and capital movements problems in foreign capital flows foreign capital flows 
have many advantages for a country but there are many problems associated with foreign capital flows as discussed below legal differences the legal environment of different countries cannot have a similarity because it is country specific a law which is required in india may not be required in singapore because the working system is very different before a country decides on capital inflows to another country it must study the legal and economic environment of the country if a capital flow has been made and it is not favorable at a later date it will result in a loss therefore after carefully analyzing the legal situation of investment one party should decide in making investment in another country sometimes within a country laws are region specific in such a case the foreign investment has to be made after a careful scrutiny of the regional law cultural differences the methodology of business depends on the culture of a country for example in some countries gifts and commissions are required for conducting business another country may not consider such commissions necessary for conducting business their policy may be to make direct contacts without any intermediary whereas the host country may have the cultural system of working through intermediaries currency units the currency units are different from one country to another country this creates problem of currency convertibility due to exchange rate fluctuations the euro currency binds 16 countries with one common currency hence business dealings become simpler because converting from one currency to another can bring about losses trade restrictions some countries impose high import duties and are liberal with export duties other countries have both high import and high export duties this creates a problem of capital inflows especially in agreements on transfer payments and sale and purchase of specialized items between them despite the problems of international capital flows countries are keen on capital inflows and outflows the main reasons which can be attributed to such flows are because of the pull and push factors the pull factors are the forces of attraction which motivate a country to internationalize itself to earn profit and encourage growth within the country the push factors are the compulsions of saturated markets within a country to internationalize it types of international financial instruments foreign capital is brought into the country through various financial instruments these instruments help the institutions to raise capital in foreign currency the important instruments used for raising foreign capital are discussed as below euro bonds the euro bond market has different kind of financial instruments the euro bonds are unsecured and have a fixed rate of interest they are redeemable at their face value by the borrower on maturity of the bond 
the income on these bonds is exempted from tax deducted at source but has to be reported as part of the income within the country's regulations capital gains and losses are possible and they can be transferred easily from one user to another euro bonds can be denominated in more than one currency it is then called a multi currency bond euro bonds can also be equity linked bonds euro convertible bonds floating rate notes and euro callable bonds euro bonds are usually listed on london stock exchange convertible bonds the straight bonds were innovated into convertible bonds these bonds give the option of converting them into equity shares of the borrowing company the conversion price is fixed above the market price of equity shares on the date of the bond issue when they are converted the borrowing company issues new equity shares convertible bonds have a lower interest than the straight euro bonds the instrument is safer than the straight euro bonds because investors get foreign exchange protection the company issuing convertible bonds has the advantage of paying a low rate of interest and receives a premium on the price of shares the issuing company also has the advantage of outflow of foreign capital if the bond is not converted into equity shares at the time of redemption floating rate bonds these bonds are issued for short term period of time they have a fixed rate of interest they can be converted into another bond which has the same nominal value but a longer maturity period these bonds become drop lock bonds when they are automatically converted into fixed bonds with specified rate of interest multiple tranche bonds these are another form of euro bonds and are issued in small parts of the total bond the market conditions prevailing in the country provide the basis of decision making to the issuing company for initial issue or the part amount to be issued on the bonds the subsequent issues are based on the perception of the issuer of the bonds these bonds are issued when the market conditions project a low rate of interest currency option bonds the currency option bonds involve more than one currency at a time the bonds give the investor the freedom of buying the bond in one currency and accepting the interest in another currency the principal sum and the interest can be paid and received respectively in different countries floating rate notes these bonds are little different to the above bonds because they offer adjusted returns periodically they reflect the changes in short term money markets by adjusting the rate of interest every 6 months they resemble euro dollar bonds in denomination of 1000 dollar each the main difference is that they carry spread or margin above 6 months london interbank rate for euro dollar deposits floating rate certificate of deposits these financial instruments have a floating rate of interest 
दे आर नेगोशियबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड कैन बी ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू अनदर एज दे आर बेर इंस्ट्रूमेंट दे हैव शॉर्ट टर्म इंटरेस्ट रेट्स ऑफ सिक्स मंथस विच आर एडजस्टेड थ्रू अ स्प्रेड अबव द इंटर बैंक रेट ऑफ सिक्स मंथस ऑफ द यू एस डॉलर डिपॉजिट इन लिबोर ग्लोबल बॉन्ड्स ग्लोबल बॉन्ड्स वर इशूड बाय द वर्ल्ड बैंक इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी दीज बॉन्ड्स वर इकोनॉमिकल हैड लो ट्रांजेक्शन कॉस्ट एंड हाई लिक्विडिटी दीज ग्लोबल बॉन्ड्स कॉस्ट ओनली टेन सेंट्स फॉर डील्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलियन डॉलर क्लियरिंग एंड सेटलमेंट कॉस्ट आर ऑल्सो लो ऑन दीज बॉन्ड्स द नंबर ऑफ डेज फॉर क्लियरिंग सच बॉन्ड्स आर ऑल्सो फ्यू इट कैन बी बॉर्ड बाय डिफरेंट करेंसीज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द अट्रैक्टिव रेट ऑफ रिटर्न यूरोनोट्स यूरोनोट्स आर ग्लोबल बॉन्ड्स एंड आर नोन एज यूरो कमर्शियल पेपर्स दीज नोट्स कैन बी अंडर रिटर्न बाय बैंक इफ नोट्स आर अंडर रिटर्न देर इज ए कमिटमेंट बाय द बैंक टू परचेज द बॉन्ड्स इफ दे आर नॉट अंडर रिटर्न डीलर्स सेल दैम इन द ओपन मार्केट दीज नोट्स आर ऑफ शॉर्ट टर्म ड्यूरेशन एंड डू नॉट हैव एनी गारंटीज द अंडर रिटर्न एज वेल एज नॉन अंडर रिटर्न नोट्स सप्लीमेंट सिंडिकेटेड लोन्स कमर्शियल पेपर्स ऑफ द यूएस एज वेल एज फ्लोटिंग रेट नोट्स इन मेनी कंट्रीज यूरो नोट्स हैव बिन पॉपुलर एंड दे आर लीगली अंडर रिटर्न बाय बैंक सम कंट्रीज विच यूज द यूरो नोट्स आर यूएस कैनेडा जापान यूके एंड फ्रांस इंटरेस्ट इज पेड ऑन दीज नोट्स द नोन बैंक इन्वेस्टर्स ऑफ यूरो नोट्स आर इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज एंड फंड मैनेजर्स फॉरवर्ड रेट एग्रीमेंट दीज आर एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन टू काउंटर पार्टीज टू लैंड और बोरो अ प्रिंसिपल सम ऑफ मनी वन पार्टी वॉन्ट्स टू प्रोटेक्ट इट सेल्फ अगेंस्ट अ फ्यूचर फॉल ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेट द अदर पार्टी इज इंटरेस्टेड इन प्रोटेक्टिंग इट सेल्फ अगेंस्ट अ फ्यूचर राइज ऑफ इंटरेस्ट बोथ पार्टीज एग्री टू पे एन इंटरेस्ट रेट फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ थ्री मंथस विच वुड बिगिन आफ्टर सिक्स मंथस ऑन द मेच्योरिटी डेट the difference is paid between the agreed rate and current interest rate this is similar to a financial future contract it has a fixed settlement date the fras have a maximum trade denominated in usa dollars global depository receipts briefly called as gdrs gdrs are an instrument for raising equity capital by organizations which are in asian countries they are placed in the us europe and asia they have a low cost and help in bringing liquidity a company usually raises capital simultaneously from two countries for example the gdr may be issued in india and simultaneously placed in the us and europe through one security the issuer deals with a single depository bank which facilitates the secondary and intermarket trading among investors which are situated in different countries it is a fungible instrument and the issuer does not have any exchange risk he can freely use the foreign exchange collected from this issue government of india allowed indian companies to mobilize funds 
from foreign markets through euro issues of global depository receipts and foreign currency convertible bonds companies with a good track record can issue gdrs for developing infrastructure projects in power telecommunications and petroleum and in construction and development of roads airports and ports in india american depository receipts the american depository receipts were started in america in 1920 to invest in overseas markets and to provide a base to non us companies who wanted to invest in the stock market in the us american deposit receipts called as adrs are securities offered by non us companies who want to list on any of the us exchange each adr represents a certain number of companies regular shares these are deposited in a custodial account in the us adrs allow us investors to buy shares of these companies without the cost of investing directly in a foreign stock exchange adrs are issued by an approved new york bank or trust company against the deposit of the original shares when the transactions are made the adrs change hands not the certificates this eliminates the actual transfer of stock certificates between the us and foreign countries so students in this module we have learnt about the meaning and concept of foreign capital flows its importance factors affecting foreign capital flows problems in foreign capital flows and types of instruments used for raising foreign capital foreign capital refers to the investment of capital by a foreign government institution private individuals international organization in a country foreign capital includes foreign aid commercial borrowings and foreign investment foreign aid includes foreign grants concessional loans etc foreign capital is invested in the form of foreign currency foreign machines and foreign technical know how foreign capital has many forms like foreign collaborations loan in the form of foreign currency investments in equity capital etc foreign capital flows have been playing a key role in promoting international business and cooperation among different countries almost every developed country of the world in its initial stages of development had made use of foreign capital to make the deficiency of its domestic savings it is used as a tool for promoting economic development and to make the balance of payment favorable thank you very much